It has been a minute. <laughs> I have not been on this YouTube channel in the longest time and I am so, so sorry for that. As of 2020, my resolution is to finally make more YouTube videos, but I don't wanna say it's my 2020 resolution because every single resolution I've ever had has just gone down the drain. I swear to God, I've kept up with it for like a month. So let's just say I'm back and I'm ready to make more videos. I've just not had time because of college and so many other things that I cannot wait to update you on in newer videos. But as of this year, I'm hoping to make as many videos as possible. I'm fully devoted and let's start with the subject that we're covering today is get to know me. I feel like I'm so insanely bright. Is that better? Yeah. I did ask you guys on my Instagram a while back, I think about two months ago, if you have anything you want to know. And I got a few questions that I'm going to be answering today. I won't answer all of them. I'm going to answer the rest on Instagram. So if you don't follow me, make sure to check me out. I'm Claudia Katie. Yeah, that fun stuff. So my name is Claudia and I'm currently living in Rzeszów, Poland. I made a whole video about that and living in Rzeszów, growing up in the States and why I'm here, not there. So if you want to go check that out, it's going to be in the link below. I don't know why I was showing over here. Um, it's going to be in a link below. I've done a few videos about Rzeszów and just living as an American Polish person in Poland. But if you don't know that, that's my story. I'm half American and half Polish. Anyways. Let's get straight into them. All right, so how old are you? I am 23 as of a month now. Um, yeah, that's really all I can say about that. <laughs> what do you do for work? So I am a copywriter and also partially YouTuber. I've worked in a bunch of different fields in the past from barista to dental assistant to secretary to social media manager. There's been a lot there, but currently those are the two that I'm sticking to and hoping to kind of evolve in the future. What am I studying? Okay, so I go to college in Krakow, the Jagiellonian University, and I study cultural and media management with a speciality in media. Zarządzanie kulturą i mediami is the Polish name for it. I want to do a whole video about studying in Krakow and college in general and my experience. So I'm going to leave that for a different video. But as of right now, yeah, that's, that's that. I'm on my third year right now, and I'm liking it a lot, actually. College is... college is cool. That's my relationship status. So I am currently married as of... Almost five months now. This is my hubby Camille and this is our wedding photo. <laughs> We've been together for a little over two years now. That can be a little bit controversial that we're not that long together and we're already married. But if you have any questions about that, I am planning on covering that as well in a different video. We knew each other for six months before he proposed. I was the last person who would have said yes. I was so against like quick marriages and not getting to know a person before, you know, you make such a big decision. And I was the kind of person who was like against relationships in general. I was just not looking to settle down and here I am two and a half years later not even and uh, I'm married so yeah that's my relationship status how did you meet your husband Camille oh would we really be a 21st century couple if we didn't meet on the internet <laughs> yeah so we met on Instagram actually and it all started with like an exchange of DMs and then meeting up a week later and in that time we spent seven days non-stop on the phone like six seven hour phone calls and then we met up a week later after DMing and just ever since then I guess it's just been a modern day love story. <laughs> I was very against that for a very long time. Like I was against meeting people on the internet because I figured that it, you can never really meet the right person, but hey, it proved me wrong. <laughs> All right, do I plan on staying in Joshua's long term? So this is a question I get a lot. Currently, yes, I am planning on living here. I'm planning on building a home here, but I'm not gonna say that it's 100% definite. I don't know what the future holds for me. I don't know if I'm gonna move back to the States, if I'm gonna move anywhere in the world, actually. I can't really plan that, but as of right now, I do plan on staying here and I hope I won't have to make any decisions otherwise. How tall am I and how much I weigh? Oh, goodness gracious. I don't even know how to say this in feet that's the American thing, but I've been living in Poland, so I say it in centimeters. I'm 172 centimeters. I'll write it here how much of that is in feet. I think it's like five, six, I think. I'm not sure. And I weigh around 60 kilo. Usually I would be really embarrassed to talk about my weight, but I mean, I'm not. I don't care. I really don't care. That's just how much I weigh. What is your spirit animal? I would say a dog. <laughs> Definitely. I'm always excited, ready to party. You know, I'm always happy and I love food. So I know that's like a really bad answer. I think I should say something like a lion because they're fierce, but I just, I'm a dog. I'm really a dog. Hey, what's my favorite perfume? 
I don't think I have one. No, I have two. Okay, no, I have two. One would be the Glossier perfume. I don't know if it has a name. It was the only perfume that Glossier had in the store and has, I think, to this point. I'll put the photo of it here. And my second favorite perfume is the Oh So Sexy from Victoria's Secret. Those two are just like my, oh, they're both really different from each other. The Victoria's Secret one is really sweet and the Glossier one is very, like, kind of musky. You'd have to smell it. To your coffee. Coffee. You play any sports. I did kickboxing and karate and dance, and I like basketball. Those things, I all still love all those sports, but currently the most active I've been is on the longboard. I did that for a few years, but I mean, just like right now, I don't really have time for much. If I do exercise, if I do work out, I'll go play some basketball or I'll just jog or do like yoga. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Who are your favorite YouTubers? Ooh, there's just so many. I watch so much on YouTube, but I think like the people I've recently been binge watching on, I'll answer that way because I think that's much easier, is Aspen Ovard, Aspen and Parker, like their mutual account, Milena Sisiati, I hope I'm saying all these names right by the way, Bits of Brie, Alexis Gabriel, and Kristen Jones. Definitely. Favorite movie? Oh god, these questions are freaking hard. <laughs> I don't know if I have a favorite movie. I think I have so many favorite movies that I can't answer. I guess as of recently, I watched Interstellar for the first time and freaking loved it. I sat up like till six in the morning, just my mind was just going up in flames, like thinking about, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Watch it and then you'll understand. I just could not fall asleep after that movie. How would you describe your fashion sense? Oy vey. <laughs> I like everything that's boho -y and everything that's like kind of edgy and just grungy. How many siblings do you have? I have one brother. He is nine years older. He's a tattoo artist and he's just about the coolest brother in the world. Who was your first crush? Oh, don't judge me for this, but it was Ash from Pokemon. I regret nothing. He was cute. Do I have any pets? Yes, I have a Yorkie, and like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know this because she is like 50% of all my Instagram stories is my dog. She's 12 years old, and she's currently living with my parents because when I went away for college, it just made sense to like, take her with them. So it's been kind of like a long distance relationship ever since then. I feel like every child has to go through this once they grow up. They just kind of like lose their pets in a way, and it's, it's heartbreaking, it really is. So I got a question if I know my personality type, like the 16 personalities test, and I actually do, and I actually like these tests a lot. So I am an ENFP, which is I think the campaigner personality. You can go read about that if you want. I really like the 16 personalities quiz, so if you haven't taken it yet, make sure to check it out, because I think it's really insightful into who you are, how your relationships work, and all that fun stuff. So I got the question what's on my phone, and my phone is pretty boring. This is just what I have on it. it I like keeping it clean. Um, that's pretty much it. I have like Pinterest, YouTube, Spotify, and then just bank accounts. A Quora, which I love, and photo editing apps, and just two games that I'm obsessed with. If I had to live off of one social media platform, what would it be? Ah, that one's hard. I think YouTube. I think YouTube. I'm, I was kind of struggling between Instagram and YouTube because I love Instagram as well. I love just scrolling through photos, but I think it's a lot faker than YouTube, if you know what I mean. It's just a photo, a glimpse into somebody's life. Like, I know from my personal experience, I'll add the best, prettiest photo of like a hundred that I take and it's perfectly edited, you know, it has the right filter and just, it's like a very perfect photo diary of everyone's life. It's different than YouTube where on YouTube you can find somebody's account and just watch so much about their lives. It's not perfectly edited, like yeah, like I can edit out what I don't want to say, but it's not as perfect as Instagram, if you know what I'm saying. And I just like YouTube because it has so much more diverse content, I think. You can find like literally anything. You can find recipes, DIY crafts, you can find like like lifestyle, sports, everything. So I think YouTube, that's my favorite social media platform that I'm obsessed with. <laughs> All right, so I hopefully answered some of the questions you guys had about me and gave you like a little bit of an introduction to who I am. I honestly think I did terrible because I'm just the worst about talking about myself, <laughs> but hopefully you guys know who you're watching a little bit better. If you have any more questions, definitely leave me a comment down below. I'll try to answer as many as possible. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to finally, 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 I can't say it enough, finally start making more videos because this is my number one hobby and passion in life and I just really want to pursue this again. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!